Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey, good evening, Facebook. Welcome to another episode of Post Daily Dose with me, your trusted parenting advisor, faithful guide, and servant on the healing journey. What's my name? Big Papa Brian Post. In tonight's episode, we're going to talk about how to stay focused on improving relationship and decreasing problem behaviors. And as we're winding up 2018, can you believe that? And I mean, it is just amazing. 2018 has been a fantastic year. Lots of growth for Big Papa, lots of learning experiences and lots of new insights. And so I'm really thankful and grateful and honored to have had 2018. But I am really, really, really excited about 2019. I hope you are also. But let me tell you how you can continually improve your relationship with your child and continually and consistently decrease their behaviors. One very important thing, all you have to do is one very important thing, a thing that, hey, Kirsten from the Netherlands, thank you for joining us. One, one thing that you can do that a lot of us will be doing anyways for the new year, we'll be doing this for our weight loss, we'll be doing this for our health, we'll be doing this for our finances. We'll be doing this for our marriages. We'll be doing this for our our spiritual practices. We'll be doing this for our um, our, our vacation and, and planning and freedom. What is it? Goal setting. How many of you will make New Year's resolutions and will set goals? And so first of all, I want to throw out the New Year's res- resolution. I think everyone by now knows that New Year's resolutions never hold up. What I want you to do is I want you to set goals. Hey, Leslie. Hey, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you finally caught us. Every day, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I may go on at 22, 6.27. I may go on at 6.33, but I'm pretty consistent. Every now and then, um, you know, something holds me up, and I'm not able to get on here right at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. But this is where I like to be every single day uh, sharing it with you. And so there's one thing that we that we can all do to improve our relationships, and you as parents can continually reduce problem behaviors, and that is to set goals. Not New Year's resolutions, but to set goals. And not just to set goals. But to write the goals down, this is very important. This is a part of my life I've been doing for probably 20 years or more. I've got books upon books upon books of just my personal goals that I want to achieve for the day, for the week, for the month, for the next three years, for the next five years. I want you to sit down and I want you to write down what are 10 goals that you have for your relationship with your child for 2019? And maybe maybe hold yourself a little more accountable and, and say within the first three months or with the, within the first six months. And then with, within 2019, where do you want your relationship with your child to be in 2019? I want you to write that down. So I want you to write it down. But here, and it can be any goal. It could be I have a goal to help my child reduce their their lying by one hundred percent. I have a I have a goal for my child and I to have ten hugs a day. I have a goal for my child and I to laugh more and to snuggle and to say I love you at least once a day. I have a goal for my child to be able to make um, straight A's or A's and B's in school. I have a goal for my child to have a perfect attendance at school for 30 days consistently. I have a goal to be the, the, a more loving parent by smiling at my children three times a day, by being grateful, by being thankful. It doesn't matter what the goal is. It can be big. It can be small. I want you to set the goal. I want you to write it down. Now, here's the key. And this is what separates all the, the significant great goal achievers from those who just like make New Year's resolutions or just set goals. And within 30 days, they've gone by the wayside. Here's the secret. Write them down every single day the same goal, write the same goal down every single day. And let me tell you why you have to do this. You have to commit the goals to your unconscious, not just your conscious mind. You have to commit them to your unconscious so that you have, you are writing them down so frequently and you're reading them so frequently and you're memorizing them so frequently 
that pretty soon your cellular system and your unconscious mind begin to line up. Hey, mom, begin to line up to make those goals happen, to make those goals possible. So all of you have probably heard about the secret and about the law of attraction, what we think about comes true, and people are always poo-pooing it and high five five blah 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 on it. Well, it's true. It is a law, and it really simply means that which we think about the most is what becomes our reality. And and obviously you have to work towards things, but the very thought that you start thinking about it puts a will in motion, not only for emotions to start lining up, but for for possibilities to start lining up, for your unconscious mind to start seeing seeing things that you may not have seen before. And before long, if if you have faith, if you are persistent, if you are focused, you will achieve those goals. But I want you to write them down every single day. This is my challenge for you going into 2019. I'd love for you to share them with me, uh, especially your parent goals. I'd love for you to share with me what you know, what your life goals are, your your work goals, your weight loss goals. Maybe it's something we can talk about. You know, shoot me an email, Brian at postinstitute.com. It's B R Y A N at postinstitute.com, or even better, send it to info at postinstitute.com. That way, Christy makes sure that I get it and uh, it doesn't get lost in a, all the other chain of emails that I get sometimes. So. Set your goals, whatever the goals may be, and I want you to write them down every single day and I want you to commit to it. I, I meant to bring my, my little goal book. I have a goal book I carry around all the time. And, and I unfortunately, I don't always do it every day now, but I try to get back to it and I'm going to be getting back to it. And since I'm saying this to you all, I'm going to get back to it. So I'm going to start writing my goals along with you every single day. And it doesn't, doesn't have to be two pages long. It can be literally 10 sentences. It can be three sentences. As long as it is a goal for you and you were focused on it, you're thinking about it and you're writing it down every single day. That's my challenge for you. Put your parent, we don't make our parenting goals important enough. We don't make our relationship goals important enough. We don't make those behaviors that make us want to pull our hair out. And we don't make reducing those important enough. And that's why, you know, at the, at the, on the, um, the episode title for the episode, um, I'm almost always at the bottom. I'll put in a resource for you guys. So it'll be, you know, you have problems with lying and you want to figure out how I do it or how I talk about it. Go to www.endlying.com or go to www.indefiance.com or instealing.com or newparentingrevolution.com or posttraumachecklist.com. All these resources that I'm making available for you guys to just go and learn just because you need the repetition. And that's why it's so important to get connected to an audience of like-minded people. That's why you keep showing up for Planet Post and the Post Daily Dose because you need the repetition. The repetition pro is programming your unconscious mind. And so I want you to keep doing that. I want you to come up with your goals. I want you to write down your goals. I want you to keep studying. I want you to make your relationship with your child the single most important goal that you have on, on, on the top of your goal list and what does that look like and how can you improve it? Debbie says, my 13-year-old adopted daughter just heard your message from yesterday and she is dumbfounded that you seem to know exactly what we have been dealing with in our home. Uh, well, that's what I'm here for, Debbie, and the fact is I've lived it. And that's why I am oftentimes so so honest and candid with you guys is because I, I feel it. I mean, I feel the challenges that you are going through in your home because I feel it within myself. I feel it within my own body. I've lived it. I've, I've been that child. I've, I've experienced that child with my sister. I've experienced my parents' pain, and then I've been a, a parent. I am a parent, and it's just... I get it, and I really do feel like I get it at a level that um, others may not always get. And so that's why I like to just be as honest as I can be and straightforward and candid. And like I say, it is a simple message, but it is not easy. It is the most challenging thing you'll do. So set your goals, make parenting and make your relationship the most important thing that you can do. You will be amazed if you start writing these goals every day, how you will be transformed. I'm going to write my goals, all my goals, every single day. Every single day, right along with you, and I want you to share it with me, and I want to see you be successful. Remember, in any given situation, I really want you to remember this. We always have, in any given situation, even with goal setting, 
you have a choice that you can continue to not write any goals. You can continue to not do anything different. You can continue to be stuck in the same old pattern. You can be bitter. You can be resentful. You can be stressed out. You can be scared. You can be overwhelmed. All of that is coming from fear. And the more fear embeds your reality, embeds your reality, the more it is going to come to life. That is the more of what you're going to see. It's the more of what you're going to experience. It's the more of what you can feel. Or you can stop. You can take three to ten deep breaths. You can slow down. You can say, let me let me think about what Big Papa's saying here. I'm not just watching this for entertainment to see if he does something silly. I'm going to listen to what he says. And I'm going to go pull out my pen and my paper, my, my pen and my paper right now. I like to write it down. Some of you might want to put it in your phone. I put an occasional note in my phone. Usually I like to write it down. I got my little, my little journal. I'll, I'm going to bring it tomorrow. I'm going to do this. I'm going to write down, I'm going to write down my goals for my child and I'm going to make this important and I'm going to do it every single day, every single day, same goals, same goals every single day. It doesn't need to get any more complicated. If you want to add to it, add to it. If not, you know, keep it just the same ones every single day. And by doing that, by choosing to do something different, by choosing to slow down, by choosing to make an effort to change, to change my patterns, to change my routines, to start to see things differently. I am choosing love. And that is what I want for you all. And I know it is not easy. It is not easy. It is simple, but it is not easy. But it takes repetition. It takes repetition. It takes commitment. It takes persistence. It takes focus. And you can do it. I believe in you. I know you can do it. You guys are the most powerful healing forces in your home because you, through you, through you, mom and dad is where your children experience love. Through you, it's where they experience love. And love is the single most powerful healing force in the universe. Okay, God bless you all. I hope you lay your heads down tonight. I hope, it, I hope it's been a, a fantastic week. Some of you had to go back to work. Some of you didn't. You're off. I hope you lay your heads down tonight. And I hope you just you you are, you you rest. You get restored. You get refreshed. You get reinvigorated. The cell, the stress of the cells from your cells that your cells may be holding on onto that you just it lets them all. You release them. Let them go. Let the stress go. Wake up tomorrow refreshed. Wake up tomorrow not carrying any stories. Don't carry any stories from today. Okay? We're going to create new stories. Heidi says, I want to go back to work, but Mr. 14's behavior won't allow it. He doesn't cope without me for very long because he's scared. He's scared, Heidi. He's scared. Can you imagine a 14-year-old is so scared that he can't cope very well when his mom is out of his presence? That's, how, well, that's, that's fear. That's fear. Hang in there with him. Hang in there with him. I, hope, I, I feel like a breakthrough's coming for you guys. He's scared. He's scared. Maybe talk about that. I don't know what his, what his early life was like, but talk, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about his fear. He doesn't even know that he's scared when you leave. Right? Maybe you can do things like give him a phone call. You know, review, go to postinstitute.com. Some of our free resources, especially with the school stuff. I know he's not at school, but it's the same thing. You know, you got to touch base with him. Give him a phone call every now and then. Let him call you. You know, text message. Just say, I'm here, honey. I love you. I'll be home. You know, and then and build on that. Five minutes and 10 minutes and then 20 minutes and an hour. And just keep building on it until his window of tolerance, until his certainty that you're always going to come back uh, is intact. Because right now, his certainty that you're going to be back is not intact. So he's got some real loss, some real trauma around losing significant members, family members. That's what that's about. So I hope that helps. God bless each and every one of you. Big Papa loves you and I'll see you tomorrow.